As you can tell by the title of this video, today I am getting a kitten. I have wanted to get a kitten for the longest time, even before I moved, when I still lived at home and had Salem. I have just wanted to raise a little kitten. When I got Salem, she was already like a year or two old, and I was also like really, really young. I don't even remember how old I was, but I've just never had a kitten before. Salem is the only cat I've ever really had. I used to have another one, but he died when I was like 10, and I just wanted to get one for such a long time. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'd know that when I lived in Florida, I used to go to the Humane Society there. I would just look at the kittens and the adult cats too and just cry every time honestly I don't know why I kept doing it because it was kind of bad for me but I just love cats so much <laughs> cats make me genuinely happy they are my favorite animal obviously I'm a cat person and ever since I moved about two months ago I have just really been missing living with a cat obviously I couldn't bring Salem because she was too old and she would have just hated being taken out of her home I go home as much as I can at least a few times a week and just like lay with her and spend time with her which I'm still gonna do obviously but not being able to live with her has been the hardest part of moving for me so I made the decision to get a kitten <sighs> I wanted to wait at least a few months after I moved before I decided to get a kitten and it's been about two months and I want one really badly a week ago I made an appointment to go to the Humane Society and look at their kittens obviously with the pandemic you can't just like walk in so so you have to make an appointment and they've been busy so I had to wait a whole week and it's been the longest week of my life. I had a nightmare last night that I woke up at 5 p.m. and my appointment's at 2 p.m. so I overslept, lost my opportunity, and started freaking out and crying. It's literally all I've been able to think about. I'm just hoping I get her today. I already have a name picked out which I know is kind of weird because I haven't even seen her. I don't even know what like she's gonna end up looking like because I don't have like a preference. I just went her to love me. <sighs> I don't know why I feel nervous. I will see you guys when I am on my way to the Humane Society. <laughs> okay guys, I'm at the Humane Society. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but there's a man standing right outside of my car and I'm scared he can hear me. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go in and see if they have a kitty for me. It's time, it's time to do it. Let's do this, fuck. It is much later. It is now 6.43. I was a little overwhelmed when I got out of the shelter <laughs> because they only had two girl kittens. One of them was very shy, so cute and pretty. I just didn't feel like a connection with her. And then the other one was so sweet and so cute. And she was a tortoise shell kitten, which is like the ones that have black and orange fur mix. And I think they're so unique looking and so cute. I ended up really liking that one. I don't remember what her name was, but it doesn't matter because I'm changing it. There was already another woman who had an application in for her, but they ended up calling me and telling me that she backed out or whatever. So the kitten is mine. That cat just had like such good energy. I only met it for like 10 minutes, but it was rubbing its little nose on my hand and she kept looking into my eyes. And like, I literally walked over to her cage and she saw me and like perked up. And I was like, um, I'm in love with you. So I think I'm gonna get her, which means I have to wait until Monday of next week. And it's Wednesday, so more waiting, but it's fine. I am very excited, and yeah, I don't know. This is kind of crazy. I feel like I'm adopting a child. What do you think, Sally? What do you think? She is so cute. Look at her. She looks like she's on drugs. <sighs> Today's the day. Today's the day. Then I get my little kitty. I have literally thought about nothing else for the last five days. <sighs> I'm so fucking nervous. I don't know. I don't know why I feel so many nerves. Probably because I've never had a kitten before and it's like, it's all me. Like, it's gonna be my freaking kitten. No one else is taking care of it with Salem. There's always like other people in the house. <laughs> Hopefully the next clip I have my cat. Okay guys, I have my little kitty. They say to just let her out in a small room. This is where her litter box is. It's in my bathroom. Ready? Oh my God, I'm going to cry. <gasps> Look at her, 
So I decided to name her Ruby. I decided to name her Ruby because I really wanted to name her Rue at first, like R-O-O. -O. But I think Ruby is such a cute name. And then that way I can call her Rue, like R-U for short. I think it's so cute. It's so cute. She looks like a little skunk. I set myself if you don't know the way, we can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. Well, guys, I started crying. She's just so cute, and I love animals. They make me emotional, okay? I also started playing Hosier, and he always makes me cry, so. <laughs> or he makes me want to take my clothes off. It's one or the other, and today he's making me cry. Stop, that's my leg. the next day. She has gotten out of the bathroom, which is good. She's very playful, loving, exploring. She loves to play with my sweatpants strings. Say hello. She doesn't like to be held. She just kind of squirms out of my hands. She literally has been putting everything in her mouth, just like her mom. I'm kidding, I don't, I don't know why I said that. She's already used her litter box twice, which I'm very happy about because I was nervous about that. She just thinks everything is a toy, which is so cute. She's a very good cat. A very good cat. I like this cat. Hi. One thing is she farts a lot. Yesterday she was doing it a lot, which I looked it up and it said it's normal for kittens. They're so disgusting. And I don't know how her little body can make something so heinous. Hopefully that goes away. <laughs> the Taylor Swift documentary and she put her cat in a cat backpack so I got one. Ruby seems to like it. Ruby, pop your head up. There she is. Fucking space backpack. What do you think? Does she look happy? I think she's a little confused. She looks happy. <laughs> Where can you go on a little a journey? nature hike. I feel her bug. This is so weird. What's up? Does she look distressed? She's just confused with this little bubble right here. You That's it. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know if she likes it or not. Are you not? supposed to like walk outside and stuff? Do you like vlog? Hello. Ain't nobody Hello. finna Why touch it. Why do I look it? ill? Oh, she farted. Ew, holy shit. <laughs> I'm making Claudia dinner because I'm such a good sister. She's playing with her niece. Ruby, no. She doesn't meow. She like makes these little <laughs> noises and it's very cute. She loves to hide under my bed. Mm, you smell so good. I know. She smelled like the Humane Society when I first got her, but now she smells like my apartment, which for all of you at home wondering what that smells like, uh, it's basically a mix of flowers, laundry detergent, and my natural musk. We've created this um, um, um laundry detergent scent with like a combination of things. I don't know if I can release that secret on the internet, but it literally smells like like a clean baby. So we smell like clean babies if you're wondering. I Dive can turn you on, on, on. I have Madison Beer's new song stuck in my head. If you want to be my baby. Someone screen record that and tag Madison Beer in it so she'll see it and want to be my friend. <laughs> what, you don't think she want to be my friend? No. From the top, make a drop, that's why. You probably been watching TikTok too much. You, uh, Don't do it to me. Oh, Jesus Christ, you weak bitch. Oh, what do you mean? You're off the ground. Let <laughs> it go. Jesus, no. let me go. I love, I love you. Yeah. Olive Juice. I read this fan fiction when I was younger where the girl had so much emotional trauma and when she fell in love with Harry Styles, she couldn't say I love you, so she would say Olive Juice. It reminds me like of uh, that show, You, where she said like, I wolf, I wolf you. you. I wolf you. I wolf you.
I wolf you. If somebody ever said I wolf you to me, I would literally gag so hard that I'd vomit on their face. I wolf you. <laughs> I have to get from some grapes. You don't have any? I'm trying to so southern when you said that. Y'all have any grapes? Mm -hmm. See that light dangling right there? That's little troublemaker. Right, hey, get over here. From the top, make it drop, that's a wrap. The battery's supposed to die, that's probably a good sign. It is the next day, once again. I keep forgetting to film an outro for this video, but it's been about four days now, and I think she's definitely fully adjusted. I have some very exciting videos planned that I'm so excited to film, so keep, out, keep an eye out for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!